In this video, we are going to talk about direction cosines. All right. Now let's consider a vector v equal to a i plus b j plus c k, which we can write as a x i plus a y j plus a z k. All right. I showed this notation earlier. In the video on magnitude of a vector so they are the same thing vector in three dimension what are the direction cosines for this vector now this a x a y a z we have the component of the vector along the x axis along the y axis and along the z axis all right the direction cosines are these cos alpha equal to Alpha is the angle between the vector and the x axis. So let's take the s component. That's a sub x all over the magnitude of the vector. Okay. Take note, I'm using this because I'm taking this um, notation. If I'm using this vector, it will be what? a over modulus of v. It's the same thing. The second direction cosine is cos beta. Beta is the angle between the vector and the y axis. So we are taking the y component, a sub y, all over the modulus of the vector itself. And the last direction cosine, cos gamma, gamma is the angle between the vector and the z axis. So x axis, y axis, z axis, we have this. The z component, a sub z, all over what? The modulus of the vector. So, this is for the x axis, the y axis, and the z axis. They are called direction cosines. So, we can actually determine the direction angles from each of them. Okay? From here now, alpha is the direction angle. So, alpha is equal to the, the cosine inverse of this. Okay? Also, beta is the cos inverse of this a y all over absolute value of v and gamma is the cos inverse of a z all over the absolute value of v so these are direction cosines and these are their respective direction angles on this note let's find the direction cosines for the vector and from there we can determine the direction angles so let's take the modulus of the vector first of all the absolute value of the vector that will be 2 squared plus minus 3 squared plus 1 squared it is 1 here okay 2 squared is 4 this is 9 minus 3 squared and this is 1 so 4 plus 9 is 13 13 plus 1 is 14 so we have root 14 as the modulus of the vector so the direction cosines are this along the x axis we have cos alpha equal to the s component 2 all over root 14 okay then cos beta this is for the y axis now we have minus 3 all over what root 14 and for the z axis cos gamma that's 1 all over root 14. these are the direction cosines well we can decide to break them down to obtain decimal numbers it's still okay but let's leave it this way okay so we can determine direction angles now Alpha will be the cos inverse of 2 upon the square root of 14. And that will be 57.688 degrees to three decimal places. Then beta is the cos inverse of minus 3 upon root 14. And so we have so three decimal places as well, 143.301 degrees, so three decimal places. 
and gamma is the cos inverse of 1 upon root 14. So what would that be to three decimal places? That's 74.499 degrees to three decimal places. All right, yes. So these are the directional cosines and these are their respective direction angles along the, for the x-axis, for the y-axis and for the z-axis. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, like and share this video to your friends and your classmates.